everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are gonna go to my granny's place and pick plums and i'm gonna show you how to make plum jam and plum wine so let's do this together <laughs> that's my sister hi <laughs> Plum is also known as Arucha in Nepali and it is a seasonal food and it's really yum. Look at it. It looks so delicious. These are falling to the ground. That's the tree. Plum, so I'm gonna make a plum wine or either plum. Uh, pickle, not pickle. Jam. Plum jam. Plum jam. Plum jam. Plum jam. Plum jam. I tried picking from the nearby branches but kind of gave up instantly because there was no more of it nearby. And then we actually went on to ask uncle as to pick plum for us. There he goes, he's up there. It's amazing how someone can climb in a thin tree up there Well, it's foggy but it hasn't rained so it's a good sign because like you can't pick a plum when it's raining it loses its taste So we're gonna make wine with this. <laughs> so these are the plums that we picked from the garden and we're gonna divide into two halves. One half will be for plum jam whereas the other half will be for the plum wine. So for wine what we did was we didn't peel the plum we just put the whole plum and put uh, slices of potatoes for starch and sugar and yeast so what this uh, what yeast does is ferments the whole process speeds up the process and we'll be keeping it in dark for two days after that we'll shake it a bit and keep it in room temperature so our plum uh, wine preparation is ready so let's move on to plum jam so for plum jam, we need to peel the plum. So I've peeled almost most of the plums that is there. And we won't be removing the seed as we'll be removing the seed once we smash it or either when we are uh, cooking it. So there goes our fresh plums. Juicy plum. You can smash it with a smasher or use hands. I Personally, I prefer hands because it's so much easier and you can get the seeds out. And if you can't get it out also, we can still cook it and get it out. So we are going to pour it into a hot pan in high flame. We won't be adding anything extra, just the plum itself. And we will stir it occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the pan. When the plum puree starts boiling is when you add sugar. 
the ingredients are really simple but you'll have to keep stirring it occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the pan and when it comes to at least one fourth when the volume decreases to one fourth is when you know that your plum jam is ready and consistency has to be this thick viscous kind of jammy consistency yay and our jam is done this is our plum jam let's bottle it now this pandemic has been harsh on all of us and i've been trying to make things uh, do things that make me feel good and i made jam and it turned out so nice and i felt so good about it let's see how the wine turns out and please do subscribe to my channel and see you next time on our next video bye, -bye.